Hey everybody, I picked up a Manicore Arms Triangle Stock and a Stormworks Folding Hinge Mechanism. So now the question is, what did we buy that for? Did we buy it for the PMR30? Nah, that doesn't look right. How about for the Desert Eagle? Nah, still doesn't look right. PS90? Nah, that definitely doesn't look right. AR15 lower? Maybe. Getting closer. I've got another idea. M92 Path? That looks like a much better fit. So after an hour in the shop, mainly just taking our time marking out and drilling the holes required, we now have our Manticore Arms Triangle Folder Stock and the Stormworks Hinge attached to our M92 Pat Pistol. Now because of that, this pistol is now a Form 1 registered short barrel rifle. So for anyone watching that doesn't know all the ins and outs of all the gun laws, because I've attached this stock to this pistol, I've now made it a rifle. And because the little barrel length of this rifle is under 16 inches, this is considered on a federal level a short barrel rifle. And in order to possess one of these, you have to have a $200 tax stamp, kind of similar to owning a suppressor or machine gun. Every time you want one, you gotta have a tax stamp. I ended up actually paper filing for this SBR, Form 1, and figured I'd have to wait six to nine months like I had to with the suppressor, and less than 30 days, I had my paperwork back and approved and was ready to purchase and mount the stock on here. I ended up going with the Manicore Arms stock and Stormworks hinge mainly because the pair together was $160 and it simply mounts to the rear of the receiver with two 10 30 second screws that you have to drill and tap. There are various options for adding stocks to the backs of AKs. You can always drill out your rivets and replace your trunnions with an underfolder trunnion or an actual AK original. Uh, folding trunnion. I didn't really want to go that route on one of these yet. I like the simplicity of doing the, the stock for Manicore and the Stormworks hinge. I've had a couple of my friends ask me during the whole process why I ended up going with the actual SBR stock setup rather than picking up the um, SIG pistol brace that you can mount on here and make a pseudo short barrel rifle. and Everything that I ended up reading online and people's opinions that, you know, while you can't shoulder that SIG brace, it's still not a solid stock and it's still got a little give to it. And it's a little on the shorter side so you don't get a good length of pull. And I figured for the cost, even though I had to pay for a tax stamp, or for the cost, I would be much happier with this and I'm glad I went with this went that route. Like I said, I had it about an hour into putting the gun in a vise, leveling it out, marking the holes where I wanted it, and then drilling and then tapping those. Obviously you're going to need a good drill and tap so you don't end up with messed up holes. As far as uh, positioning of this folder, there really wasn't a lot of line I found that didn't recommend one way or the other, so it's pretty much up to you. So what I ended up doing was I ended up going slightly above the bottom of the receiver there, so you've got just a, just about even there. That way you, when you're sticking your hand back here, you're not getting stuck on it. And then I'm going just a little bit overhang on this side, so when I folded it, got just a little bit of gap there. Obviously if you want to mount a side mount for a scope, you're going to want to space that out more that way so you've got room for that. The Stormworks uh, hinge is nice because you can set it up to fold either way so you can make it fold to the other side if you wanted. I wanted to have it traditionally fold to this side. It's really simple design. It's made out of aluminum. It's anodized. and You just simply press up on it. <coughs> it locks in solid when it's open. And when it's closed, it's a little back and forth play, but it's pretty solid. 
they give you a 10 30 second hole there to mount a uh, sling attachment the back side like I said two 10 30 second screws I did Loctite those and the same ones on the stock they use the same mounting hole pattern probably my one gripe about the Stormworks hinge was they could open up the holes for the screws just a little more to give you a little more wiggle room and they had a burr I'll throw some pictures at a burr on that sling screw that was preventing me from being able to uh, put the screw in there so I had to take my Dremel and clean that up. But other than that, the mechanism is super simple and it, and it works. The uh, Manicore triangle folder is a really nice piece. It's a heavy piece of aluminum. I believe it's anodized. My biggest complaint about it is probably the finish. It's it's like a more porous finish than a smooth anodizing that I'm used to seeing. And it gets stuff on it. I mean, you can like rub your fingers on there and get a little bit of discoloration going on there. I'm not sure what kind of coating they use, but I mean, that's, that would be my only gripe. This thing is built like a tank. So now the fun part is I'll uh, roll the footage of uh, us putting some rounds through this. This is it's a lot more fun now that you can actually shoulder this weapon and fire it. You've got such a short barrel that you can easily maneuver this, you know, back and forth between targets. And it's very well balanced. You get a lot more control of it. The sling attachment when we had this in pistol form was nice, but you still didn't get that good control that you do when you've got it up against your shoulder.